the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my God, because you are so good, I am very sorry that I have sinned against you, and I will not sin again. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with love unutterable, and I have so many times unworthily abandoned you. But now I love you with my whole heart, and because I love you, I repent sincerely for having ever offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I wish also, my beloved Redeemer, to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united to you. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned thee to die. I beseech thee by thy merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul in its journey towards eternity. I love thee, my beloved Jesus. I repent with my whole heart for having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Station 2. Jesus bears his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, in making this journey with the cross on his shoulders, thought of us, and for us offered to his Father the death he was about to undergo. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the tribulations thou hast destined for me until death. I beseech thee by the merits of the pain thou didst suffer in carrying thy cross to give me the necessary help to carry mine with perfect patience and resignation. I love thee, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always and then do with me what thou wilt. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider this first fall of Jesus under his cross. His flesh was torn by the scourges, his head crowned with thorns, and he had lost a great quantity of blood. He was so weakened that he could scarcely walk, and yet he had to carry this great load upon his shoulders. The soldiers struck him rudely, and thus he fell several times in his journey. My beloved Jesus, it is not the weight of the cross but my sins which have made you suffer so much pain. By the merits of this first fall, deliver me from the misfortune of falling into mortal sin. I love thee, O my Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the meeting of the son and the mother, which took place on this journey. Jesus and Mary looked at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the sorrow thou didst experience in this meeting, grant me the grace of a truly devoted love for thy most holy mother. And thou, my queen, who wast overwhelmed with sorrow, Obtain for me, by thy intercession, a continual and tender remembrance of the passion of thy Son. I love thee, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The fifth station. The cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene, 
We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee. For as by the holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how exhausted Jesus had become. He was on the point of death, but as his cruel tormentors wanted him to die the shameful, the shameful death on the cross, they forced Simon of Cyrene to carry the cross behind our Lord. My most beloved Jesus, by your grace I will not refuse to carry the cross. I accept it. I embrace it. I accept in particular the death you have destined for me, with all the pains which may accompany it. Accompany it. I unite it to your death. I offer it to you. You have died for love of me. I will die for love of you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and do with me what thou wilt. Station 6. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how the holy woman named Veronica, seeing Jesus so afflicted, and his face bathed in sweat and blood, presented him with a towel with which he wiped his adorable face, leaving on it the impression of his holy countenance. My most beloved Jesus, thy face was beautiful before, but in this journey it has lost all its beauty, and wounds and blood have disfigured it. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful, when it received thy grace and baptism. But I have disfigured it since by my sins. Thou alone, my Redeemer, canst restore it to its former beauty. Do this by thy passion, O Jesus. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Station 7 Jesus falls a second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the second fall of Jesus under the cross, a fall which renews the pain of all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times thou hast pardoned me, and how many times have I fallen again, and begun again to offend thee? Oh, by the merits of this new fall, give me the necessary help to persevere in thy grace until death. Grant that in all temptation which assail me, I may always commend myself to thee. I love thee, Jesus, my love. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how these women wept with compassion at seeing Jesus in such a pitiable state, streaming with blood as he walked along. But Jesus said to them, Weep not for me, but for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the offences I have committed against thee, because of the pains they have deserved and still more because of the displeasure they have caused thee, who hast loved me so much. It is thy love more than the fear of hell which causes me to weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love thee more than myself. I repent for having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant the time you love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Station 9. Jesus falls a third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the third fall of Jesus Christ. His weakness was extreme and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive, who tried to hasten his steps when he had scarcely strength to move. O my outraged Jesus, 
by the merits of the weakness thou didst suffer in going to Calvary. Give me strength sufficient to conquer all human respect and all my wicked passions, which have led me to despise thy friendship. I love thee, Jesus, my love, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always. Then do with me what thou wilt. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider the violence with which the execution has stripped Jesus. His inner garments adhere to his torn flesh, and they drag them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Compassionate to your Saviour, thus cruelly treated, and say to him, My innocent Jesus, by the merits of the torment thou hast felt, help me to strip myself of all affection of things of earth, in order that I may place all my love in thee, who art so worthy of my love. I love thee, Jesus, with my whole heart. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to separate myself from thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after being thrown on the cross, extended his hands and offered his eternal Father the sacrifice of his death for our salvation. These barbarians fastened him with nails and then, raising the cross, allowed him to die with anguish on this infamous gibbet. My Jesus, loaded with contempt, nail my heart to thy feet, that it may ever remain there to love thee and never quit thee again. I love thee more than myself. I repent of having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, is consumed with anguish, abandons himself to the weight of his body, bows his head, and dies. dying Jesus, I kiss devoutly the cross on which you died for love of me. I have merited by my sins to die a miserable death, but your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love for you. I commit my soul into your hands. I love you Jesus, my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart for having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and do with me what thou wilt. Station 13. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how, after the death of our Lord, two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, took him down from the cross and placed him in the arms of his afflicted mother, who received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him to her bosom. O mother of sorrow, for the love of this son, accept me for thy servant and pray to him for me. And thou, my Redeemer, since thou hast died for me, permit me to love thee. For I wish but thee and nothing more. I love thee, my Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. Station 14. Jesus is placed in the tomb. 
we adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross, thou hast redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to bear it, accompanied by his holy mother, who arranged it in the sepulchre with their own hands. They then closed the tomb and all withdrew. O my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that encloses thee, but thou didst rise again the third day. I beseech thee, by thy resurrection, make me rise glorious with thee at the last day, to be always united with thee in heaven, to praise thee and love thee forever. I love thee, and I repent of ever having offended thee. Never permit me to offend thee again. Grant that I may love thee always, and then do with me what thou wilt. May abundant blessing, O Lord, we pray, descend upon your people who have honored the death of your Son in the hope of their resurrection. May pardon come comfort be given, holy faith increase, and everlasting redemption be made secure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.